show you all how to integrate to MOOCs. Okay, next slide. So this is uh, our flow of this workshop for now. That's why we expect uh, everyone to bring a laptop if possible. But since you didn't bring laptop, never mind, you just listen first and uh, later you can go back and do. Okay, so we are going to talk about concept of augmented reality first, about 15 minutes. And then uh, I think we are going to skip the video we show live. Eh? Live or video? Live. Okay, show live. No video. Okay? And then after that, you are going to do some activities. You think got people coming in or not? Opat, you think got people coming in or not? Before or after? <laughs> not sure. Eh? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, next slide. Next Okay, so this is our topic of discussion. What is augmented reality? The types of augmented reality. Where do you use augmented reality? Uh, why augmented reality? When do you use augmented reality? And the how is you practice, you do the augmented reality. Okay, so what is augmented reality? So there are, hey, this is type ready. Okay, what is augmented reality? I'm going to discuss with you all next. Before that, uh, go back. When we say augmented reality, sometimes people ask me what is virtual reality, what is mixed reality, like you heard in the morning. This morning we talk. Uh, there is some speaker talk about mixed reality. There is some people talk about virtual reality. Uh, day before yesterday, okay. So I just want to explain to you all these three terminologies. Augmented reality, next. Augmented reality is usually you say AR, okay? It's a computer generated content overlaid on a real world. So it comes in the form of device you carry, such as handheld display, or you wear the headset or the goggles, like, you know, okay? And then it's usually included in video games, television personal navigation, and many others. And it's always, wait, hang on, before that, is display location in real time. In real time. Okay? So augmented reality is bringing the real, wo uh, the real world into your computer screen. S example like, next, Pokemon Go. If you play Pokemon Go, have you played Pokemon Go? You play. So you are using augmented reality. That means you run on your smartphone to detect the location. The location is real. Your Pokemon is your avatar. And you are going around in a real situation, real environment, until some people jump into the river because the Pokemon is inside the river. <laughs> Isn't it? Or jump into the drain. <laughs> Isn't it? So, this is a real world background created in a smartphone, turn your augmented reality. Okay, next. I won't read all the text, I just take the key point only. So, this is the video, just to give you a sense what is augmented reality. Because many people confuse what is AR, what is VR, what is MR. So now I'm going to make you all understand what is AR. Okay, video. Sound la. Oh yeah, sound. No sound la. Coming and hawing about the future of the AR industry. Here at Markson, we're happy to report that augmented reality is already here and making a big splash in retail. Without further ado, here's the top 10 augmented reality applications changing the way we shop. 
First up is Sephora's Visual Artist app, which is far and away the most state-of-the-art cosmetics experience available See, on a mobile device. Utilizing makeup, a series of Snapchat-esque view modes and techniques, also. Sephora's Virtual Artist provides an intuitive, consumer-friendly way to try on makeup, compare looks, learn how to apply makeup, and shop. Sephora has also partnered with Modiface to install in-store augmented reality mirrors that let retail shoppers try on okay, as many different shades like as they like without the hassle that comes with applying and removing makeup in-store from a filthy demo pot of eyeshadow. So long, so you don't need makeup really artists like anymore. You just use augmented Wait, reality and you can make up your sudden, face. Why anyhow, is there a marker-based <laughs> Euphoria-style augmented reality app on a list made in 2019? Okay. I'm glad you asked that, viewer of incredibly niche content. It's not so much the tech that's interesting here, it's the fact that a grocery retailer is experimenting with augmented reality okay. print modification at this stage of the game. Industries that you might not suspect of having any particular interest in augmented reality are starting to see real measurable ROI from projects that leverage the power of information gathering, digital distribution, and targeted advertising using the ubiquitous smartphone. You've got a smartphone, right? And you've shopped for groceries? Boom. Synergy. As if tequila wasn't an immersive enough experience already, the Experience Patron Tequila application uses AR kit-based AR to provide useful information about Patron's brewing process and full line of products. Quote, the journey begins with a single Weber Blue Agave plant, according to the app description, before presumably ending with your head in the toilet. With a tap on a bottle, the bartender provides a guided explanation of the tasting notes and barrel aging process for each featured product. While the unique capabilities of Apple's AR kit create an immersive and dynamic view of the surroundings, note, Tequila is not included with your app download, so you'll have to take care of that at a traditional brick and mortar liquor store. Do you have dreams of finally getting your life together and matching the color of your rooms to your grandmother's antique handmade quilt? Yeah, me too. Thankfully, Sherwin-Williams Color Snap is there for all of us, with a consumer-level application that analyzes a photo and picks the exact Sherwin-Williams tint or shade to nurture your budding Even interior you designer by establishing so palettes that can complement any color you now. want to focus on. Huh? The There's also a pro-level application that connects a custom tool to a smartphone so to get exact color matches, so that when your contractor you neighbor offers house. to fix Junior's creative use of non-washable paints, you can rest assured that the fix will be minimal, instead of redoing the whole house because your OCD won't let you forget that shade of taupe is not exactly correct. The American Furniture Warehouse app kicks off a string of augmented American reality furniture, furniture applications warehouse. that so allow you American to place a piece of furniture in your own home with a mobile use device. Suffice to now. say, all of these are pretty much the same. Almost all of them use AR Kit and AR Core to project a digital object into real space, and the tracking, frame rates, and quality are all roughly equivalent. Who knew that making it big for AR meant that it would become commoditized within six months? American Furniture Warehouse's offering is notable due to its use of Markson's MXT tracking solution, which enables faster initialization time so customers aren't left wondering, hey, hey what's going on with this piece of software? Well, is it even working? If you want to Speaking of commoditized augmented reality house, software, IKEA places, well, basically that, the same as American Furniture Warehouse's offering, also. but packaged for IKEA's unique brand sensibilities. Like it offers the entire okay. IKEA catalog in a slick, well-designed, consumer-friendly application. So you can you like move the your Kivik, furniture the here and the Vimla, so the Gromlin, the Herdball, or some other so oddly named storage solution? Reality. Can you tell which of those I made up? How about the Lidholt, the Pasta, the Hemnes, or the Malzjo? I hope I pronounced some of those correctly. Bob's Discount Furniture leverages the magic of a small clay doll to furniture. set itself apart from the crowd of also augmented reality augmented furniture reality. placement applications. Their app allows you to try out your furniture in your home before you buy it, much like all the other AR apps in our lineup, with the additional option to change colors, finishes, and the like. Most notably though, the app is completely functional and fully integrated into their ordering system. You can buy with the tap of a button. All of these applications serve a valuable purpose, of course. They solve fit and finish issues and enable customers to shop from the comfort of their own home. Bob's does all of that and also features a bearded mascot leading the way, so score one for Bob's. This may be a minor distinction between so, products, but Build.com like is letting you, you view see DIY home improvements picture. in your home in AR. You don't have to imagine what I mean, of course. The video is playing in front of you right now. There are more than a thousand products available on Build.com's app. Even you want to design your kitchen, online is build uh, kitchen cabinet content. or kitchen furniture or whatever You can turn them on and play with different spray patterns. To put the future this is way, truly arriving. How's is the it home suitable decor company or not? that, quote, combines so professional renovation the placement, services, you know, design the placing, ideas, you know, and placing, furniture shopping into one app? Roll down so an update to its iOS app and includes 3D imaging features. The 3D augmented reality option, as you can see here, offers the same basic experience as other AR kit enabled apps. An idea what is augmented reality used for, you know? So you can use in uh, furniture, you can use in your house, in your gardening, landscaping, or whatever, even in automobile, you know, in healthcare and all that. All right, next. Okay, so that is augmented reality. Now, what is virtual reality? I'm trying to explain AR, VR, and MR first, okay? So virtual reality... Virtual reality has come out long time ago. It is virtual environment. 
you know, bringing the virtual environment like you go into the sea, you go into the moon, you go into the sky, you go into just in front of the screen. You know, like you are flying an aeroplane, you are flying a, a jet ski in the sea or whatever, but you are just in front of the screen. Like pilot, you know, so it's like simulation a bit. So this is virtual reality. Presented a helmet right around the glasses that allow you to immerse yourself in a fully computer-generated world. You know, so it's just like second life, you go into, you are the avatar and then you go into a virtual world. Okay. So I have students graduated in PhD in uh, Second Life, where you will see the students, uh, the real image of the students, the real behavior of the students. You will see that they will dress the students uh, very fierce or uh, very sexy, or then you will see that that is the real person of the the the, the person's uh, character. You know, sometimes students they are shy. You don't see the real character of themselves. But when they put into avatar, you will see that they will dress very fierce or very sexy or very lovely. That is the character of that person. So my students study on the characteristics of avatar. You know? Okay. Next, mixed reality. So the word mixed reality, MR, is mixed between augmented and virtual. So it's between real and virtual. It's just like uh, a teacher talking in front of the screen. The screen is the inside people, is the avatar, is the pupil, is the avatar. So the teacher, like say, like we are doing practical teaching for teachers. Before they go into the classroom to teach the real student in the school, they have a mini lab of uh, mixed reality where they talk to a uh, avatar. So they will talk like a teacher, act like a teacher, talking to the student. The student is avatar. So there are three, four types of character. Maybe a sleepy student, a talkative student, a naughty student never do homework. So mixed reality is this avatar will, it will talk to the teacher and the teacher will interpret how to teach or how to check the students. So it's between the real person and the virtual person. So mixed reality. Okay, so this is, uh, wait, before that, hang on, go on. So a surgeon can look at the visor of 3D MRI images as they cut into a part of body so the blood and gore is less on an impediment. So I went to Finland recently uh, this nursing school, how many from nursing here? How many from nursing faculty? Medical faculty? Nobody. Okay, let's see. If let's, uh, this nursing faculty that I went, they use this uh, AR, they, they wear the goggle, and then they have the patient on the bed. It's just a room. The room is this big only. But when I wear the goggle, I can see the patient, I can see the instrument, I can see the operating uh, thing, you know, and I can have the instruction from the computer screen say, this patient is bleeding, so please take a scissors or whatever and operate and uh, cure this or stitch or whatever. So if wrong instrument, the computer will beat, say, you take the wrong one put back or whatever. So it's good. So what they did in Finland was they asked to review many uh, VR, AR uh, uh, script first before coming to the classroom. There are about few hundreds AR, VR document, video. So the student will look into the video before coming to the class. And during the class, the teacher will experiment, use this VR, AR thing, then only they will go back and they will do some assignments some more. So they will prepare before the class, they ask to watch the video. During the class, they will wear the goggle and do all the experiment. And after the class also, the, student, the lecturer will ask them to uh, do some exercise according to the video that they have done or whatever AR. So... Um, I think it's very effective, you know? Okay, next, types of augmented reality. 
So there are four types of augmented reality. Okay, it is uh, markerless, superimposition, projection based, and marker based. So what is uh, markerless? Uh, marker based first. Okay, marker based augmented reality. So marker based augmented reality is also called image recognition or recognition based AR. In simple words, this technology uses camera in AR device to produce a result. Okay. QR and 2D are the examples of the visual marker and the users get the result when camera reader senses the uh, marker. So Ikram is going to show the marker based one. For this session, you can only do one. Okay? We, we, we don't have time because we thought that you all have laptop and we will do one by one. Okay, next. So video. Okay, just watch the video. What is marker base? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then that's the that one just now is a marker. So this can be your marker. This can be your marker. Anything, any object can be your marker. Okay. So when you overlay the marker, you will get the augmented reality. Okay, next, markerless. Markerless means no marker. Markerless augmented reality is also called location-based AR. It is one of the most widely used and implemented type of technology. Markerless is also uh, known as position-based AR and GPS-based augmented reality. Markerless augmented reality is the only type of AR which do not use any kind of recognition system. So your GPS is markerless uh, Augmented reality, which is very useful, like our Google Map, our Google. Huh? So we use a lot of that nowadays. Without that, we are lost. Some people say, without that, I don't know how they ask. Go back to old fashioned, ask this person, ask that person, and then quarrel with husband and wife all together, all go haywire. Those days, old fashioned style. Then. But now, no more already, isn't it? Everyone just set the car and just go. Okay, next. Video, what is markerless? Huh. This is markerless. You can just go, a short one only. Yes, huh? okay. Now, projection based. Projection based, evidence to its name technology is based on AR projection function where lights from the device projected on the objects. There are numerous approaches which make this technology more interesting. One of the approaches is throwing the light in onto the surface of the real world and makes it interactive, interactive by the human touch with hum help of sensor like this. The projection can also be done in mid-air with the help of laser plasma technology. Show, is there a video? Yeah. You see like this? It's projection based. So I give you an example where they put the computer and the laser screen on, uh, at the bottom and they project to the screen here in front and you can see the ocean, the whale, the, the animal creatures, everything in the sea, you know, swimming here, like here. So you can project. That is one of the master student yeah, assignment. And then they can show all the colors, you know, Blue color, let's say if blue come to blue, if green, green. So using this AR technology only. So students are very creative. They can create uh, ocean base and then they can save like uh, no plastic and uh, whatever, you know, sustainability, you know, something to do with the, some topic. Okay. Then superimpose. Another type of uh, augmented reality. So there are four types of augmented reality. So this is superimposed. Superimposed, augmented image can replace the original image, either partially or fully. Object recognition plays an important role in this type of AR. Okay, superimposed. Uh, that, that one got video, no? No video. No video, uh, superimposed. Let's see the superimposed here. Go back again. 
like this. The superimposed by augmented reality is the the object recognition of the car. Is it? Huh? Okay, yeah. The object recognition of the car. All right. All right. Next, the good and the bad superimposed AR object. So, like this, when you want to do the marker, this is a bad marker. This is a bad marker. Transparent is bad marker. So when you want to choose a marker, you choose an opaque marker, not a transparent marker. Not simply any marker. Okay? So choose a, a dark marker. You can see the color. Okay? Next, where do you use uh, augmented reality? Just now the video has shown you already. You can use for travel, for tourism. Just now there's lecture on tourism. You can use in education, like in nursing, in health, in uh, uh, business management. You know, you can act like a manager. You can act in teaching, classroom, you know, in education. So, and then you can do in retail, in like Tesco, you write in furniture, in uh, um, where? car, you know, whatever. Automobile, that one is going to automotive. Healthcare, entertainment, you know, real estate, buying, building, buying house or renovation of house, furniture, where you can uh, do the landscaping or whatever. So these are all being used widely now, augmented reality. So we as an educator, we also must change our way of teaching. We have to use this uh, digital way of teaching, augmented reality. Okay, next. So when, with the help of the immersive technology, teacher can show that this is object modeling and training. Okay, theoretical knowledge isn't enough to obtain proper skills. Students should be assertive listeners and passive. Students, especially technical faculties, need practice hands on. So they must use uh, augmented tutorial, digital modeling, and simulations. So, you know, the classroom in the European country, in the Scandinavian countries, are mostly outside the classroom. They don't sit around in the four walls anymore. And their classroom is like very relaxed way of classroom. You can sleep, you can lie down, you can eat, you can put your leg on top of the chair, you know. And the teacher is talking in front of the classroom. That is the way of teaching now. Because they believe the student study better than to force you to sit like this. Listen to me, don't move. You know, that is the old fashioned way of teaching. So now this uh, augmented reality is also the same thing. They, you use uh, something when they move, uh, something that can scan and move, they, are, they get excited. Okay, next. Why? They improve collaboration so you can talk to each other. They can help. The prevent the class to be boring, you know, no talking already. So teamwork, teamwork. Now the way of teaching is pairing, or the most three in a group or four in a group. Assignment, individual and group assignment. Not only group assignment, please, because there are some people lazy, don't want to do work, you know. So the assignment should be individual and team. Faster of effective way of learning. So it is a very effective way of learning and it's practical. Okay, benefit to all people. Next. Next is accessible learning materials. It can be done anywhere, anytime. No special equipment required. So you can see that, oh, I must buy the glass, I must buy the headgear. No need. You see, in this workshop now, you don't need, you can do augmented reality. No need to go and buy the 450 head mount glass or whatever, you know. You can still do augmented reality. And then, high student engagement and interest. So, once you do augmented reality, they work together. So, in European country, master student project work together not only from that university, but you'll be surprised, master student project work from India, 
from Australia, from USA, from Finland, from uh, uh, Malaysia, they all come together and work with the student on augmented reality. You know? So you can encourage students to work all over the world in one project, provided with some funding. Yeah? So that project is called Alto Design Factory. The company gave them 10,000 to each group, 10,000 euro. And they said to the student, we want you all to solve something to do with the ocean. We want you all to solve something with the car. We want you all to solve something with the leaf. We want you all to solve something with the pets, with the animal. You know? So I visited this group of master students' project. They only got 10,000, but this student come out with a good project you know, using augmented reality. All right, next. Now, these are examples of augmented reality. Yeah. Huh? No internet. Got no internet. Oh, no internet. This is the link that to show some of the augmented reality, you know. Next. All right, now we are going to use Unity and Euphoria. Uh, Ikram is going to do this, but uh, not using video, but live. Right, my name is Mama Ikram, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, market based AR using Vuforia and Unity. So, now uh, let's learn about augmented reality tools. There are many types of augmented reality tools that can help us make uh, AR more easier without using any programming. The first one is Vuforia using SDK, it is free. And the platform that support it is Android, iOS, and Windows. Of course, Unity 3D support it too. And then AR Core. AR Core is a framework, and the price is free. It support Android and iOS. Of course, it support Unity. But AR Core mostly use uh, Microsoft Visual, so we must know how to, how to programming a little bit. Uh, there's Udan, Easy AR, Maths, and AR Kit. But today we're going to use uh, Vuforia to make it. Uh, before we start making our own AR, we're going to learn about a little bit about uh, Unity software. The first thing is Hierarchy tab. Uh, this tab will show all the game scene, all the game object, uh, what 3D or AR camera. Like right now, we only have directional light. You can see there. So now let, let's try and put uh, a 3D object on our scene. This is create button where we where you can add anything that you want in Unity. Let's try and add uh, a cube. And that's a cube. If we want to change the position of the cube, we can press a uh, move tool at here. And then there will be three lines, uh, a green line and blue and red. If you drag the green line up, it will move up. And we drag it down, it will move down. Similarly to the blue and green line. Uh, there's also another way to change uh, the position of the cube by changing uh, the amount of position at here. Let's say we change it back to zero. X exists to zero. Y exists to zero. And as exists to zero. And then the cube will be the position of cube will change. And let's learn how to rotate the 3D object. Let's click at this rotate tools. And a sphere line will show up. And we can press any line and try to drag it. We rotate. Uh, same as the blue line and the green line. What if we want to make it uh, to the normal cube like before? Uh, change the uh, rotation to zero. And try to change it to zero. 
and at to zero. It will become normal like before. You. And now let's try to uh, let's try to scale the object to become smaller or bigger by pressing the scale tools at here. There will be three lines at here, the green, uh, the red, and the blue one. If we drag the green one, it will become taller, and we drag down, it will become lower, similarly to uh, the blue one and the red one. Uh, if you want to the cube to be scaled at a normal size as before, click at here and change the scale to zero and Y to zero and Z to zero. Oh, sorry. <laughs> scale to one, Y to one, and Z to one. And it will become normal. There's a few things uh, in Unity that you can do. Uh, right now, we're going to learn how to make a marker-based AR. The first thing uh, to active our Vuforia tools is to go to File and go to Build Setting. Press as Android and Player Setting. And tick the Vuforia Augmented Reality Support here. After Android, go to player set, uh, switch platform. Move to the next step. You need to download an uh, Android module uh, that is set in the internet. Before that, let me show you how to download Unity using Unity Hub. The new uh, way to download Unity is to go to install and then click at add and choose whatever version that you want. Like I'm using right now uh, Unity 2019 and press next and then download uh, Microsoft Visual and Android Build Support. Hmm. And then uh, we're going to need uh, Android support before we start using Vuforia. Uh, 
player, uh, go to player setting and tick at for the augmented reality support. Let's move to the next step. Mm -hmm. uh, let's delete this cube because we're not going to need it. Uh, first, uh, go to cli uh, click at create button. There will be Vuforia engine here. And then click at AR camera. Let's start it again. First, uh, click at Create button and go to Vuforia Engine and choose AR Camera. And then, go to Create button again, uh, click at Vuforia Engine and choose Image. And then go to image target behavior, uh, choose the database that we want. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> uh, go to image target. And beside there, you will see image target behavior at here. Uh, choose the database that you want. Right now, we're going to use Vuforia mouse image. Uh, let's start it again. And click at create button. Uh, go at for the engine and choose image. And then go to database and choose the database that you want. <laughs> Let's start it again. <laughs> okay. uh, Let's go to create. Click at create button. Go to Vuforia engine and choose image. Okay. All right. And then go to image behavior. We will see it at the right. Uh, choose the database that we want to use. Right now, we're going to use a Vuforia Mars image. And then choose the image that we want. Image target will be our marker. Uh, right now, we're going to choose a drone as our marker. And then click at image target and drag it under AR camera. Uh, 
and then uh, let's say we're gonna project a cube on top of our drum image. Uh, let's go to create button, go to 3D object, and then choose cube. Click at cube, uh, click at cube, and then drag it under image target, and then make the cube uh, smaller. Uh, press the scale button here, and then uh, click at the middle, and make it smaller. and change the position of the cube and then uh, we're gonna test our AR uh, click at here play button and, th and there is our cube uh, so what if uh, we're gonna project a uh, a barbarian model, we can get uh, it at asset store, but we don't have internet, so <laughs> uh, I have downloaded the asset at asset store. Uh, it will be a barbarian 3D model. Uh, so Asset store. Uh, there's some some of the asset uh, we must pay, and some of them are free. Interesting 3D models like Barbarian. I have get it uh, from Asset Store. I have already downloaded it. Uh, delete the cube and and this is the Barbarian model. Click at the Barbarian model and drag it under image target. Okay. Let's make it uh, smaller by scaling it. Uh, press at scale tools and make it smaller. And then change the position of the Barbary model to be on top of our drone image. All right, let's start it.
and that's how we make a marker based AR using Vuforia. So we have made uh, around 10 marker here. If you want to test it right now. We're going to show you how to make our own marker. But this step uh, need internet uh, because we're gonna, we go, we got to open the Vuforia web developer. Thank you. 
Just that. of this image is five star. Uh, five star means it will be more easier to scan and to project the 3D object. Uh, let's see it. Uh, click at Sate. And then click at Show Future. Uh, the more the star is, indicates the quality of your picture. The more the star is, the better your marker is. The easier to scan your marker is. And then back to marker again. Uh, download the download the database. Uh, choose our development platform will be Unity Editor, and then download it. And then, ah, uh, uh, that's how we make our own marker, and we can import it into Unity, this marker, and then. Yeah, you can do this survey because you have uh, you are a successful student here. Yeah? <laughs> okay, do do this survey now. Can you get that uh, survey? What you think of augmented reality? 
Ah uh, yeah, you are onto the the question already. Yeah, what you think of this uh, augmented reality? Yeah, good, good, good. Just click on it. Yeah. Go to that survey for me now, since you have time. Yeah, I also got no internet. <laughs> How to make a marker based AR? If you don't, you don't remember the step that we learned today. You can go to search dot Google. Ah, uh, go to this link and get the the note. I have to the step in Unity. How to make a marker based AR like earlier. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Rosita and her team to share this idea how to do uh, about AR, VR and this reality. Uh, we hope uh, all of you have gained more knowledge and uh, the next time have the chance to learn and share with her again. And if you need uh, the, the, the question or the information, can contact her. Thank you so much.